Sayyid Muhammad Naqib al Attas developed his concept of men's education by referring to classical Islamic authors. Information, it is an introduction to the knowledge. That's why the knowledge, according to Sufi metaphysicians, is not something external gainable. Professor Latas refers to that too, restrictions of meaning. But today it's not restriction, but obfuscation of meaning. Because people break limits, so to speak. There are no limits. So when do we make decisions about meaning? The function of the soul vis-à-vis uh, -vis the intellect in the working of the psychology, which is quite unique. And I think Professor Latas is the first one in modern contemporary time who stresses the, 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 the functions of the qalb as opposed to the intellect. In Islam, the philosophical virtues of wisdom, justice, followed by courage and temperance, are made religious by grounding them in the deep consciousness of God and sincerity of purpose and truthfulness to oneself. The ancient Greeks were brilliant philosophers who debated much on the various fundamental philosophical virtues. But as Alatas has noticed, without religion, these virtues cannot be properly practiced in an effective manner nor are they sufficient to achieve enduring happiness. And in other words, they are looking at the word Islam from a linguistic point of view only. Their religion was not called Islam in the Quran. The Quran referred to the religion of those prophets before Islam as Dinan Qayyiman, an upright religion. Professor Alata speak with the Orientalists in their language, discuss with them using their argument system, points out errors according to their scientific concept and methodology. To evaluate it and reconstruct it uh, correctly, you have to base on the system of value, which is worldview. It is not free from uh, Islamization, from Islamic point of view. The cult or the fu'ad, is an organ of spiritual perception. This is the distinguishing feature between Professor Latas as opposed to the earlier philosophers. And his metaphysics is not like Western metaphysics, which is only dealing with ontology and being, uh, psychology and what have you. For those of you who are familiar with his work, he goes on along the lines of the tradition and the Quran, the revelation, meaning the idea of God, the world, the revelation, the prophecy, which are entirely new. We cannot build civilization in 10 years, 20 years. He means knowledge as a whole. Knowledge in itself, hikmah, in itself, revelation, in itself, of art, culture, and civilization. That's why he established that, that center. And in that center, he doesn't take knowledge only from the Muslim, but from non Muslim as well. The library that he created contains the wisdom of the best scholars in the Muslim world in various languages, and from the West and from the East as well. He told me that maybe decades, centuries from now, people are going to study what we were trying to do in this particular place. That's why he built the concrete so strongly, because it's meant to last for hundreds of years. Professor Atos has his plan for young generation in the Islamic world, not only in Malaysia, but in all Islamic world, he has a plan. This is the tradition we wish to revive and maintain the culture of loving and respecting for knowledge and the knowledgeables. We would like to thank Professor Dr. Wan Muhammad Nur Wan Daud for the wonderful idea of conducting this international symposium after orchestrating another successful regional conference November last year in Bandung, Indonesia.